Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to get the party link uh, so you can share it with your friends, your family, your Facebook page, or an event that you're doing. Um, that way that you can have them order specifically from that party. So you will want to log into your back office every time you do this, whether it's one for you or whether it's one for your customers, you always have to set it up yourself because um, they don't have the way to do that. So, okay. So you will log into your back office and I recommend on the parties, I recommend setting one up every month for yourself. And then, um, you know, if it has, if it has whatever, you know, party amount that you want achieved in it, close it at the end of the month. If it doesn't have a lot and you don't want to close it, you don't have to. You can leave a party open as long as you want. Um, so it's just, it's your preference, whatever you want to do. So you will log into your back office. You'll go into your shopping tab and you will do the party and fundraiser order. Click that. Okay. So here is going to be your search for party or a host party or fundraiser. So if they've already had a party from you in the past that you've entered all their information in, you'll type their name right here. Um, if it is a new host or a fundraiser and they've never had anything done under you before, you'll click this pink button right here and do the create new. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just bring up one of mine. I already have one open, so I'm just going to use a different one. So you would type in the name of the person and then you would do... Um, you know, click on the create new party and fundraiser. It's going to automatically open up that page. So then you'll go through here and you'll do the billing address, the shipping address. So they'll want your fir the first name, the last name, the address, city, state, zip. Um, same thing for the billing address. You will want to get your customer's email and a phone number. Then you will also want to get um, their party and fundraiser date whenever they want to start. You'll put in a party time, just whatever you want. And then you can do this copy shipping address down here. Um, and then you would do save. you got the next button. Okay, so after you set up the party, you can do view party summary and it's going to show you what that party total is at and how many orders have went into it. I'll show you that here in just a second. Um, to get the party link, when you open a party link, you'll do the save and send invites. So do that. Oh, I'm gonna click the date. I'm forgetting to click stuff. Okay, there we go, now I got it. Okay, so then you will just pick one of these over here. What it is, is it's just like a theme for your party. So I'm just gonna click this first one. I'm gonna do save. And then this next page is where it's going to bring up your party and fundraiser link. So right here, it says virtual party URL. This right here, is going to be your party link that you're going to want to post to whether it be event, an event, whether you want to give it to your hostess so she can share it on her Facebook page or she can send it out herself in emails or text messages or however she wants to do it. Um, if she wants to give you the email addresses of people, you can do it in here too. And what you would do is you would type in their name right there, you would type in their email addresses, and you would click add, and then it will bring them up down here. Um, you know, and then you have the share, the same link is down here as well. So that's how you can grab it, grab the party link from a customer that's done a party before. Now, if you need to set up a party on a customer that you've never had, you would do the shopping tab again, the party and fundraiser. Do create new host or fundraiser. And it's going to ask you to set up a, so you're gonna do the billing address, the shipping address is all gonna be the same. So right here in this additional information needed, this is going to ask you for an email, 
for the customer, a phone number for the customer, a username, and a password. The username and the password is going to be what they use each time that they log in, even after they host the party through you. If they're just logging in to order something from you, they would use this same username and password. Um, so for their username, I usually just use their email address and then their password, I usually make their first initial and then their last name. That way it's easier for them to remember. And then you will still go through here and you'll do the party and fundraiser date. You don't necessarily have to put in a time. You can write a comment in the box um, and then you would just do the, you know, the copy shipping address as well. And then you would just click next and it will show up. Um, and then your party will show up. If you want to go in and you wanted to shop for it, your party will show up again through here. So if you go up here to the host and you do view my parties, it's going to show this one over here is the one that I just opened. So, and then you would just do shop now. Um, if you guys have any questions on this video or if you have any issues, let me know. If you're confused on something, um, we can figure it out and I can help you or walk you through the steps or explain something in a different context if you need it. Thanks.